Hey, it's Stephanie Olson. Uh, God bless you. And uh, know that God loves you, and so do I. I wanted to show you today uh, your Switch Interface Pro. This is how we use switches on the computer. This is a box that pretends to be a keyboard. So in this box are some uh, things that your keyboard normally lets you do on your computer, such as move your, your arrows up or down or left and right, pressing the space bar, clicking your mouse, um, using your tab button or clicking your enter button. These are all actions that make things happen on your computer with activities that are switch, that are switch accessible. So the first thing to do with this is plug it into a USB port. You'll hear it ding. The second thing to know is how to read it. There is a button on the top that activates, I'm going to cycle through, I don't know if you can see, but it's um, cycling through these colors. This is green, and then blue, and then red, and then yellow. So you'll tell it which row you want it to be on by pressing this button at the top. So if I want it to pretend to make a space bar key click, I would move, I would press this little button until I get on the blue color, and then I would take my switch and on the bottom, there's five different places to plug a switch and they line up with these things here. So I will plug this into the column that has the space bar here that's blue. Now, I have a couple of um, tabs open to show you some things here. We do have a subscription to an online program called Help Kids Learn. Now the login information for this is on the password document that you should have been given. If you have not been given this document, please check with your supervisor. Uh, but when you log into this website, you'll see tabs at the top, early years, games, stories. Now some of these activities are intended to be used with a touch screen. So they work great with your large touchscreen monitor for a child to go up and touch it. And those things are wonderful for children because they're engaging their body as they move. They're having to track their eyes with their fingers. And so there's lots of great things for kids who will be using their finger to directly select an activity. But for our friends who have trouble um, moving their body to get to the screen, we can plug in a switch to help them do some of these activities. Uh, one that I really, I really love the ones in the early years. Um, and there are some simple ones. Oh, where's my, oh, creative. It's, there's one in creative that I love. It's the custard splodger. There it is. I love this one because it has high contrast to it. So it's great for our kids who are just learning. Now the thing that you're going to want to do when you open up an activity is read this section here because it'll tell you click a mouse, touch the screen, use eye gaze, or press a switch, and then it tells you space bar. So remember how I told you this has different key bar, key, um, keyboard functions to it? I happen to have this plugged into the one that will make it act like a space bar. So when I go to play this game, we'll load it up. If you want to double check, you can go to the settings and make sure that it switch is enabled. Um, if we do have kids using eye gaze, we can enable eye gaze. Uh, and touch screen automatically is available as well. And when we go to play, it gives you this one gives you some choices. I'm just going to put it on medium. And that little uh, paint thing goes along at the bottom. And when I press my switch, isn't that just the funnest thing? And they're just different colors. and all of Those are all kind of mustard brown. So that's it. Fun little thing. Tons and tons of activities on Help Kids Learn. Please check out all of these tabs. Before you sit down in your circle time to do this with your kids, do yourself a favor and practice it. Because it, chances are you'll pick something and it won't make sense in the moment. So just practice it before you start your activity with the kids.
There are two other websites I want to show you. There's tons of things out there, but these are just things that are super easy to use. One is called Tar Heel Reader, and um, in your passwords document, there's also a username and password that you can use to log in, to, because this is a fun website for you to create your own books that talk using your own pictures. Um, I've used it in a classroom where we wrote a book uh, using the pictures of the kids and then they came up and um, they dictated and some of them were able to type some of the words that they knew some of them dictated orally what they wanted me to type and some kids used their devices to choose words that I would then transcribe into the book now I'm telling you some of those sentences didn't make a lick of sense um, and they were grammatically incorrect and um, some of the kids that were typing spelled words incorrectly but they were writing, so it's a really cool um, website for you to check out for literacy. Uh, but the easiest way you can do it is to just go in and find a book and um, let's just see what a day at the beach does. I am going to go over here and turn on the speech, make it a child. We'll have, we need to have a whole other training on this. Now I think, let me see if Spacebar... Space, if you're not sure how what to plug in to your Switch Interface Pro, you'll want to just go to your, your activity. So I learned that the space bar turns the page. I also know that the right arrow turns the page. The left arrow goes back. So um, I can change this. See, there's a left and right arrow. I'm going to move this to the green row, and then I'm going to plug... A switch into the right arrow. I could plug a switch into the left arrow in case we wanted the child to be able to go back and forth and so now they can press their switch to read the book. Uh, the other cool uh, website that's super fun and easy to use is Tar Heel Gameplay made by the same um, folks at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill and this also you can go in and log in and create your own gameplays. And what this does is it takes any any YouTube video and turns it into a Switch accessible activity. So you can go in and find, uh, oh, let's see what the trolls is doing. Can't stop the feeling. I haven't tried this to see if it actually works. But we should have a moment here where the switch... Oh, there it goes. Now I think, I think Enter makes this go. So I moved this to the um, blue... Let's see, I'm going gonna, gonna to go to the blue row and press Enter. That's Lauren. Yeah, works. <laughs> so there you go. Three quick websites for you to use switches with your kids on the Switch Interface Pro. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.